Good evening everybody, this is Ben here and welcome back for another video Oh for today and of course I'm showing myself on camera again and the reason why is because Tonight, um, since it's 5.43 p.m. right now, I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a video of explaining to you my top five favorite movies. Now, before I get started, just I want you to know know that I had tried to record previously a, like a top ten favorite movies list updated version. I originally wanted. I originally recorded that, but I was having trouble thinking of of movies that are my favorite. Of course, I know I ha I had done one before, but for updated versions like new movies coming in and leaving out, I was having trouble thinking. So I'm just gonna. To make things kind of easy, I'm just going to do a top five favorites, favorites, if that's okay with you, but but regardless of that, let's just get started. So pretty much, so yeah, it's pretty much now my number five favorite film, film that I, re that I really like is Independence Day, Day from 1996, so of course it stars Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, and Bill Pullman. Home at my number fifth favorite film. It used to be Gandhi, but now it's number six. It's on the top ten. Ten and um, so um, it's a great movie. I remember I remember renting that a lot from Family Video back in the day because me and my brother used we were really into Aliens back 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 then. Excuse me, I'm kind of gassed up from eating dinner. But anyways, we were really into aliens, those kinds of sci-fi aliens back then, and so we used to rent that rent that a lot, a lot, and and I and I and I, and I really enjoyed. It. I thought it was pretty cool. All the explosion scenes and alien invasion scenes, I thought they were just fantastic. And I'm pretty sure it's everybody's favorite film film out there. But of course, I know. So yeah, and the. Uh, the great, it's got, so yeah, like I said, it's got great casting too, like I said, with Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum. Uh, although, Will Smith, in my opinion, kind of doesn't really appear too much in this film, in my opinion. I kind of consider Jeff Goldblum to be, to be more the main character, because he appears more often, in my opinion, but. That's, that's from what I can tell, L, but it's, it's alright. But. Well, they are both the main characters, but I just consider Jeff Goldblum to be more the main character because he appears more often in Will Smith. But that's just me, though. But it still is good, good and all this, and 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 now, and so yeah, great stuff. Just so you know. Oh, and so that's all I need to. It is an awesome movie, Independence Day, and. Then of course for number four, number four on my favorites list. This just came in to, on the list. Listen, which this is one that I saw in school in my English class, and I really liked it. And I and I really liked it. Of course, I have the film on Blu-ray, and of course that movie, as you know, is Fences. Is of course that film stars Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. As I also know, Denzel also directed the film, which is pretty good, cool. And he also produced it as well, and he also did get a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Picture back in 2016. It was also nominated for Best Actor, but it didn't win because they went to Casey Affleck for Manchester by the Sea. But, but regardless of that, it's still Fences is a great film based off August Wilson's 1950s. No, not 1950s, but yeah, yeah, I think it is a 1950s play. I don't know what what, what year it was, but. But it was somewhere around there. It was set in 1950s Pittsburgh. Berg. And, you know, about Troy Maxson. And, and his family and all this. But a lot of us seem to know about Fences. So I don't really need to explain it. But it is a great film. Film. Of course, yep, like I said, we watched it in English class. When we were comparing this and Neil Simon's Brighton, Brighton Beach Memoirs. Mars, which they also made that into a movie as well back in the 80s, which that's also good too, but it's not as popular though. But anyways, it for fences, it's still great and all this. This, this, and I think it's one of Denzel Washington's best movies he's done. Done so far. 
so far, and I also know Viola Davis, also the one best supporting actress for this film, but, which is great. It, and, uh, sorry if I'm getting self-adjusted to this chair, but anyways, Fence is a great film, and then of course for number third, favorite film would be Cast Away, Way of course, starring Tom Hanks, of course, I also do have some Tom Hanks movies, movies in the top ten, and those films are Toy Story and Apollo 13, but... For Castaway, way of course, it's a great film, it's directed by Robert Zemeckis, which they, they, of course, he, Tom Hanks and Rob, Bob Zemeckis also did Forrest Gump together. Another, it came out back in 2000, Castaway did. Did in which, it was one of two Robert Zemeckis films that came out in 2000. The other one was What Lies Beneath. Neath, which that that that's also a good film as well, but that goes in pretty much my now my top twenty favorite, uh favorite favorite film list now eighteen or seventeen to be exact. I gotta I gotta look at it again. But anyways, it's all right, all right ten. But anyways, Castaway is a great film. You know. You know, he, Chuck, you know, Tom Hanks plays as Chuck Nolan, who is a FedEx employee, and and then he he gets stranded on this island after a fatal plane crash in his cargo cargo FedEx cargo plane plane, and you also get you know Wilson the volleyball and other stuff. Yeah, Castaway is a great film, and also the success, the box office success of this film also inspired Wilson, the company, the company that. The company that makes those sports balls, um, I'm going kind of quick here, but they also inspired them to make a Wilson, uh, volleyball based on the movie, with the face and all this, which is pretty good, and unique as well, well, and nice and all this, but, anyways, Castaway is great, and then for number two favorite film, film, of course, is Shrek, Shrek, the first one from, from, from 2001, made by DreamWorks. Of course, DreamWorks, DreamWorks also made Castaway as well, but internationally, nationally, because, you know, because, you know, Fox, 20th Century Fox has the rights here in America, and like I said, the Fo only the Fox and Image Movers logos up here, here in the United States, and DreamWorks internationally, but, but, as I keep saying, of course, they also held together in What Lies Beneath as well, but except DreamWorks, you know, and DreamWorks and Image Movers logo is in the United States and 20th Century Fox internationally, but, Either way, let's talk about Shrek. Of course, it's another, it's a favorite, it's a favorite film that I enjoyed watching a lot as a kid, along with Shrek 2, and, you know, I always, I always loved it ever since, since around that time, time, I always loved Shrek, Donkey, Princess Fiona, no, and John, Lord Farquaad, Quad, I think he's probably one of my favorite DreamWorks villains of all time, well, animated villains of all time, but, Great stuff, and uh, so it's great and all this. I know everybody loves Shrek even nowadays, and and so yeah, that's great stuff. Stuff. So yep. Of course. So yeah, Shrek is is a great film and all this. From what a lot of people regard, guard it's guard. So yep, it's. Great stuff, and even Shrek the Shrek Two is also great as well. Shrek the Third, I haven't watched that in a while, but I kind of don't really care for that nowadays. It's it's not the worst. It, it's not the worst film in the trilogy. I just say it's the weakest in the trilogy. From what a lot of people re regard that film as the weakest in the trilogy, but all right, let's go. All right, now down to my number one favorite film, film of all time, which most most of you guys pretty much know about this now, but. Yeah, most most of you guys pretty much know about this already, because as you know, this film it's a Steven Spielberg movie, movie from 1993. Three, it's one of two films that came out in 1993. The the one the other one's Jurassic Park, Park. But this this is not the one. This this one's the film that that made that that won the Best Picture of 1993, and that and 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 it's and it's widely regarded as one of his greatest films to date. And of course, that film. My my number one favorite film of all time, as you know, that from that movie is none than Schindler's List. List, which, like I said, won the Best Picture in 1993, and 
of course I love th of course that film in my opinion I think is a that film from of course I remember I remember seeing that uh, of course I remember I remember watching that I want I remember watching that film a couple of times here at home home on the V on the VHS and also and on the computer as well but I wanted to do it more on the VHS and and then um, for this and then which it was only bits and pieces until until back in early December Bert when I went on my field trip to the Holocaust Memorial Center which is way out in Farmington Hills Hills Michigan and Alston that we didn't see the movie on the field trip but we saw it at the auditorium at my school school and and I thought it was and the the, the, the Holocaust trip was an experience what was was really great but the in the movie I thought the movie I thought uh, and, and when I saw the movie I th especially when seeing it with my friends and also any and also anything else I thought it was just a masterful masterful piece of work film and, and work and I definitely agree what everybody says about the film and definitely one of Steven Spielberg's best and probably one of Liam Neeson since best movies he's ever done, as well as Ray Fiennes, Fiennes as and all that stuff. Of course, of course, Liam Neeson's performance as, as Oscar Schindler is probably one of the best, if not the best, historical figures portrayed by an actor in history, in my opinion. And and, and also Ray Fiennes as the devastating command SS should stop full. I think that's how you pronounce it. Commandant Amon Goeth. I think he's one of the most Devastating but awesome villains, lens in screen history. In my opinion, that's what I regard. But of course that, and of course that, of course, and of course also Ben Kingsley, Ben Kingsley as Ishtak Stern. That's also really great as well. Well, and of course you know that film. You know Oscar Schindler. He's given the, he needs to, you know he's. You know, trying to get some money, but then he ends up making the decision from what, because of what Amon Goeth is doing and all this, and also the whole time period, time period during the Holocaust, that Schindler decides to make an attempt to make a create a list, and he and Ishak Stern create a, attempt to create a list to save over a thousand Jews, Jews during during that period, and then uh. But like I said, that film, like I said, is a masterful piece of work and definitely one of Steven Spielberg's greatest films he's ever done. It's a really awesome movie. Movie, it definitely deserves the win for Best Picture and definitely deserves being number one in my top 10 and top 5 and top 20. We and all that stuff. Alright, and anyways, Schindler's List is an awesome movie. It definitely, I mean, it's not... I know some people don't like it because the graphic content, but it's still, it's alright. Right, and all this. But anyway, Schindler's List is an awesome movie. And that, of course, we're, we're almost running out of time. We're pretty much running out of time now. So, this, this is basically it for my top five favorite movies of all time. And I'll see you again probably later if I have, if I have time or so.